this is Rimbo and uh, welcome to the channel. Yeah, got my hands on a V4S 2021 Ducati Street Fighter. Quite amazing. And it looks to me like right over there, they're doing some grinding just in time for me to do this. So that's great. So in the background, they're grinding metal and I was gonna stop and wait so it's windy. They're grinding metal and I'm thinking to myself, how fitting is that for this bike? This bike is just a grinding beast. It really is. And it's windy, so you, you know, there's no wind protection on this bike. This bike so far <laughs> is a very powerful, very powerful bike. All right, let's talk a little bit about it. Well, we can start with the engine. It's a Desmo Sedici Stradale, 90 degrees V4, uh, V4, rear rotating crank. That kind of smooths out your ride a little bit. It's 1,103 cc's and it will pump out 208 horsepower at the crank, of course, at 12,750 RPM and 90 foot-pounds of torque at 11,500 RPM. This is a ride by wire and it has a four into two into one into two split exhaust on this puppy. What seems to be standard these days is that it actually has a uh, six speed quick shift up and down, which basically it's hard to find bikes that don't have it anymore, to be quite honest with you. Now parting all the rain on the tank and the spotting because it just got caught in the rain here, but we're looking at 4.23 gallons, about 16 liters. And this thing weighs about 392 pounds dry or 439 pounds at the curb. Now I will tell you that the seat is a little bit high. It's at 33.3 inches, not horrible, but it's a little on the high side. And the wheelbase, it's a rather short 58.6 inches, nice. On the front, we have this nice Olin's NIX 30, 43 millimeter, fully adjustable. How do we know? Well, because that's why we know. Woo, look at me in the mirror. And bringing up the rear, we have a great Olin's TTX 36, fully adjustable electronic suspension. This is the S model, and this is one heck of a piece of equipment. Oh. And did I say it has winglets? Well, I just did now. And on those Marchesini forged tires, uh, rims actually, we have the Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa 2s. On the front, we have the 12070-17s. On the back, we have a very sandy, yet well-maintained Pirelli Diablo Rosso Corsa 2. Of course, it's a little bit bigger. It's the 26017. And on the Brembo brakes front and rear, the front has two 330 millimeter discs. Now this bike is completely stock. Nothing's been changed on it. And oh yeah, one more thing. See this stabilization? Even that is Olin's. You're looking at a five inch TFT. There are three riding modes. All of them are adjustable. Street, sport, and race. Easily adjustable, and you can change through them quite easily. This bike comes with ABS, which includes cornering ABS, Ducati traction control, Ducati wheelie control, Ducati engine braking control, and one more. Could you guess what it is? Ducati slide control. Yep slide control and of course it has a single-sided single sided swing arm and that goes without saying okay enough with the specifications let's take it oh the sun's coming out i hope it dries things up a little bit because i want to push this a little bit not that i can use any more speeding tickets but let's take it for a ride sling a leg over this puppy oh nice and lightweight Let's turn it on and listen to the beauty of this Ducati V4 engine. Desmo Sedici. That's stock. That is stock. All right, I am currently in street mode, okay? 
and we're gonna stay in street mode initially and if it's dry enough out I might take it to sport mode but I certainly will not be taking it to race mode with conditions like this as you can see yeah not too good let's go for a ride Of this wet area here all right so the riding position let's go with the basics here all right is this a powerful bike absolutely does this have more power than you will ever need absolutely motorcycles these days especially something like this this crazy street fighter is kind of about excess a lot of these bikes are about excess i mean you really have to go onto a track to enjoy these and i think that's partly what they were built for right now looks like i'm clear and i'm clear let's let everything dry off although the weather does not look good all right so back to the position i am five foot eleven and have a 32 inch inseam with that being said i feel like i'm i'm relatively comfortable like relatively comfortable but i'm still actually feeling slightly cramped with this stock setup all right i don't know how long i could uh, handle this particular situation like this nimbleness crazy nimble with this really short wheelbase um, if you're coming from a sport bike you're not going to notice much of a difference if you are coming from anything larger you're coming from the cruiser you want something like this you are absolutely going to notice a significant difference now i am in a forward position but i'm not as forward as i would be on a regular sport bike okay that's the purpose of these you know naked bikes is to kind of find something in between that's a little more comfortable yet gives you that aggressive feel and one of the things about this bike because there's no fairings and you don't have a lot sticking out in front of you is i literally feel like i'm riding on the front wheel you know i really feel like i'm so darn close to everything here and um just a little bit of a different feeling but it is comfortable nonetheless if you have a shorter inseam maybe 30 inches or so you might have a little bit of a harder time reaching the ground i am currently flat footed with both feet i just put them both down but with 32 it seems to work fine um, but again i feel it just slightly slightly ever so slightly cramped on the controls on the foot controls oh, everybody wants that lane now it did just rain it's been on and off so i'm not confident in the grip right now with this bike i don't have a ton of confidence in it uh, because there's just a lot of debris and a lot of sandy uh, material that seems to be oh, wow is this thing nice it seems to be oh beautiful timing get up and go now I'm in street mode just so you know like I am just only in street mode and this thing is just saying hello Dolly uh, all right Let's see if I can do something about these mirrors while I'm here 
too late. Boy, this thing sounds fantastic. It has a decent amount at, at the low end here. And as you can see, I'm in the four or five, like right now I'm about 6,000 RPM. All right. And it, it has plenty. And I'm sure when we crank this up and we start getting into the nine and 10,000 RPM range, we're really gonna feel this bike come alive. And that's hopefully what we're about to do. If I can find neutral, which is usually Neutral seems to be my nemesis. There it is. Neutral is my nemesis on some days. All right. I think I should have some time here to try to make some mirror adjustments. But we shall continue in a little bit. is non-existent on this bike but then again that's not what it's designed for so if you were to set this thing up to take it to the track I would highly 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 recommend putting some sort of a windscreen on there absolutely some sort of a windscreen this has got to be one of the fastest bikes that I've been on and I think this V4 and S in particular uh, is it, it feels like a very stable platform and I'm in street mode just so you know I mean if you guys were looking at the speedometer while I was going you know you saw what was happening there uh, this bike I'll never get it in a six gear unless I'm just cruising along on the highway at a very lackadaisical pace oh, come on stop buddy you can stop behind me but uh, yeah this is more bike than you're really gonna need this bike is actually a bit scary to be quite honest with you I mean this thing has some serious beans so let's put it in sport mode all right and we'll see what the difference is in sport mode which is more than likely just going to be throttle response and maybe a little adjustment on the electronic suspension where it's going to stiffen things up a little bit not that i need it again it just finished raining it just started drying so we're in that time frame right now when things are a little slick for us an understatement for this bike to be quite honest with you nimble would be an understatement this bike is extremely nimble I'll tell you a very flickable I love the fact that this has a kick-ass suspension on it with Olin's I mean this will definitely inspire a lot of confidence and one of these cars around me is really token it up because I think I'm getting high right now which is one of the benefits of riding a motorcycle in South Florida is uh, the fact that uh, probably one out of every six cars someone's getting high probably explains a lot of other things too but nonetheless 
All right, come on. There we go. Forward. Now, I will tell you that the gears on here seem to be pretty long. It's, it's kind of amazing that if I compare this, and I know there's no comparison at all, this versus a multi-strata, but I'm going to use that as a frame of reference for me. If you look at that V4 uh, engine, then I think what you're going to see is that the gearing on that is definitely a lot lower compared to this. And we seem to be able to wind this out a little bit longer. All right, downshifting seems to be really good. No issues there on the downshift. Again, the sound on this is really amazing. I mean, this is this is a lot of bike. I, I do have to be honest with you. This this is a lot of bike here. It's small, nimble, but the horsepower to weight ratio here is amazing. And it actually felt really good going over those railroad tracks. I'm gonna go over them again. I'm gonna turn around and go around them again. second or two gotta pick a spot to turn around All right, let's go let's go here all right but oh, this thing just wants to go oh yeah this is easy to wheelie very easy to wheelie Pretty good right there. Very responsive in sport mode, but I'll tell you, I think a bike like this, if you live somewhere where you have a lot of canyons, you know, tail of the dragon, you're out in California, somewhere in Colorado where you have a lot of nice windy twisty roads, uh, this bike is going to be amazing for that. Absolutely amazing for that. I, I, I got to be honest with you. This bike just feels so powerful and just so... I don't even know what, it, what else to say about it. It's just very nimble, very powerful. It comes with all the electronics that Ducati has. You know, even slight control, which we don't even have like on the Multistrada, which you would think that on a Multistrada you would have something like that. Uh, because it's supposed to be an all-around bike and it's the premium package. But uh, these bikes here, such as the Street Fighter, really take the cake with what they offer um, and what this bike comes with. It, it is quite amazing. So I am rather impressed with this bike on this very short ride. And I would, ah, I could have made it, but I don't want to be a dick. Man, it sounds good, it feels good, it's got just an insane amount of power. This bike is, this bike needs to be in my garage, is what it needs. Oh. Woohoo! There's your slide control, I just spun up the rear wheel. Alright. No, that wasn't slide control. That was just me spinning up the rear wheel. Beautiful bike. Honestly, beautiful, beautiful bike. This this is probably one of the most impressive bikes I've ridden because it just feels like you're on top of a rocket. I mean, they call the Triumph a rocket, but that's all about torque. The t Triumph rocket. But this is literally feels like a, a, a rocket. It really does. I mean, this bike is truly... Wow. When they say Street Fighter, I, don't, I think it's undefeated. I really do. This bike is really amazing. Major props to, uh, to Ducati and of course to Forza Ducati or Ducati Forza uh, here basically at Two Wheels World. Come on, you can do it. There we go, there it is. Anyway, 
thanks to Ian for letting me take this thing out. This bike is, um, I wish I didn't ride it because now, since I did ride it, uh, I want it. This, this bike is just power in, I don't know, it's just like you open this thing up and I did very little with it and I can feel it. I just have, I need to take this somewhere where I could really let loose with this bike. This bike is absolutely amazing and I've really never felt a bike that's felt this nimble. That's like a naked bike. Uh, absolutely amazing. Anyway, Rainbow here. I'm not going to keep running at the uh, gills here. Have yourself a great day. Like and subscribe if you want. Look into this bike. Test drive one. Holy crap. Love it. Have a great day.